We are live. I'm Dr. Kenyatta Goins, and this is Roberta Goins, my Hi. wife. And uh, today we're going to be teaching about Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm going to start with a prayer just because we want to start out being very thankful for everything. Amen. That's so true. Right? Yeah. How many are here? Let me just hear your voices today. Uh, how many are here that are very happy to be here today? That's what I'm talking about. See, there's, a, there's how we start this thing out, with thanksgiving and praise. That's right. Because that's what it's all about today, right? That's what this month has been about. That's what every day is about, really. So, Father God, we just thank you right now for your word. And Lord, we ask that you let us decrease that you may increase within us, Father God, and use us, shape our lips like clay to speak your word, your wisdom, your life over these families, Father God, over these single people, over these married couples, over the everything, Father God. And let us continuously give you thanks, praise, honor, glory, and adoration, Lord. I thank you right now for life, Lord, because I was almost not here with these people, you Lord. So I'm thankful, Father God, that you allowed me to have breath today. That you blessed us to come here to be a blessing. And Lord, now use us, Roberta and I, Father God, use us in a mighty, mighty way today, Lord. As we give your word to your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Woo. Okay. Man. So. Woo. All right. So here's our teaching. Giving thanks. Versus being thankful. Wow. And I love this picture of this pie. We're going to talk about this pie later, but just remember this picture. It's been a while since we've been up here. All right, so, so are you I'm excited? So are you excited? I'm excited to be back here. I got my brother Steve and my sister Doretha back there, and my entire family, my kids is here. Oh my <laughs> and uh, I'm just blessed, man. This is this I, is wonderful. We're so thankful. So you just have no clue of why I'm so thankful today. Yay! <laughs> All right, so. Right? <laughs> but there is a difference between giving thanks and being thankful, okay? They're related, they're similar, we're going to talk about it, but they're not exactly the same thing, okay? So first, let's talk about giving thanks. What is giving thanks? What is it? What is it? You I'm tell thankful. me. We got I'm thankful. Side. Okay, so what is giving thanks? <laughs> to express gratitude or show appreciation to, okay? Uh, so giving thanks, when you give thanks, what are you doing? When do you, when do you give thanks? That's another good question to pose. Yeah, it's in there. It's in yeah. there? Okay. When does it happen? So, so ponder on that for a minute. Right. To express gratitude or show appreciation to, okay? So in other words, giving thanks, what is it? It's it action word, isn't it? It's an action, something we do, something right? Something we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's something we express. Okay, yeah. It's a verb. Yeah. yeah. Action word, a verb. For those English people, D. Mm -hmm. It's a it's response to something. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. we're always responding to things sometimes, right? Good, bad, or indifferent. But the best part is when we can give oh. thanks and expression. Okay. Sorry. Big fingers. Good for that. I'm going to let her do it. Does it, does, it have, <laughs> does it have to do with something that's already happened that we're giving thanks to, for? That's a good one, right? Something we do in response of in something? Response to, yes. In response to. Okay. How about we start with being thankful for, well, I'll get to that. So, <laughs> giving thanks, just like Dee said, something has to happen in order for you to give thanks. Right? So it's in response to something. And it's an action. It's a verb. It's something we do. Just out of right. adoration. You, right. Thankful. You're showing appreciation. Yeah. Being able to show appreciation to someone. And if we don't respond in a positive manner by showing that, what does that do to the person that's the giver of that gift? Mm. Ooh. Ouch. That's right. an ouch, right? That's an ouch moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so there is a time and a place to give thanks, really. Yes. I mean, okay. So does something first need to happen every time to trigger that? That's the biggest thing, to trigger our response of giving thanks. 
Does something actually have to happen? No. To give that's, what right. that's what the outside world tells us, exactly. So that's the thing we want to drive home today, is it's not about the outside world. Being thankful is a lot more than just responding. Right. So and that leads us right into our next definition, being thankful. Okay. You got the clicker. So what is it? Oh, he gave me the clicker. I, my thumb is, you know, my hand right. is squeezing it and get being, excited. So I gave it to her. Thankful. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> being thankful is a state of living when you choose to focus your time and attention on what you are grateful for. Oh, so it's a choice. <gasps> And it's a state of living. Oh my God! You mean if you're being thankful, you're that all the time? Ooh. Okay. Oh, so wake up that way. Right, okay. because it's part of who you Thank are. Thank you. Okay. Right. Okay. Wake up like that. All right. Hit the ground running, so the devil runs. Ooh. Okay. See, that's what's happening when I get up, because he keeps trying to attack me. Ah, oh, he better look out, because old Kenyatta's awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, some stuff's getting ready to crack off today right. because he don't play. That's right. But I start with being grateful, being thankful. Yeah. That's when my feet hit the floor, man. I'm like, thank you, Lord. Right. And I open my eyes, thank you, Lord, yeah. that you made let me get through yeah. another day. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's Come on, y'all. Y'all don't yes. understand where I'm headed, man, because... Being able to come through something, yes. it, it means I didn't stay there. That's right. I wasn't stuck there. I woke up this morning because he did it. Right. Not, it wasn't by my will. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir. Being, being, being thankful, King, I was like you said, it's like in the sense of being intentional. Oh. You know, waking up being intentional about your day, even with our spouses. Yes. Being intentional about it. Like, I'm grateful for, for her having good health. I'm Man. grateful for her. Being a, the woman that she is, and sometimes we lose <laughs> we lose sight of that. If you, you can know. see what's so, going on in the I back of this room right now, get a room, get a room. That's supposed to be for the anniversary <laughs> folk over here doing that stuff. Thinking of that old Commodore song, I guess. You know? Yeah. Which one's that one? Uh, I ain't saying. Right. You come on, sing. Oh, come on. Got Mr. No, Motown no. here. He's, He's good. Like, oh, this we still in church. Yeah. <laughs> She's a bring, bring oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Ah, everybody. Yeah. She's yeah. mine to my tag. Yeah. Just you know. oh. letting it all hang out. <laughs> this, room's so cool. this is what we do. This is what we do. If you ain't here, you're missing it. I'm sorry. I know, you need to That's be your problem, it's not so ours. <laughs> We're here. Okay. What did Steve just say? He, he just said he hit the key words. I am grateful I am. for my wife. I am Man. thankful for blah, blah, blah. Because being thankful, once again for English people, being thankful is an adjective. Yes. It's a descriptive word. It describes who you are. Yes, okay. that's it's the not, key right there. It's right. not a verb or an action like giving things, yes. being thankful, being grateful. Yeah. That's an adjective. It's a state of being, a state of living. Okay. And it describes who you are. And that's just that something choice. You do. Yes. That's that choice, right? Yes. I choose to be right. who I am yeah. in yeah. Him. Amen. I choose that. I choose to give love and not hatred. I choose to give thanks. And not regret. There's a, yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a way of doing things, right? Choose it's even what do we choose? Even what do we choose? It's part of the de definition. What do you want to choose in your life? Because what you give out is what's coming back. Mm -hmm. It's a reciprocating thing yes, that we have to know and we have to, we have to believe in. But the more we give out, the greater the return. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. Seven times, man. Seven. Get what did I say earlier? God is in what? Come on, it's a participation class. Come on, <laughs> let's go. God is in the what? Oh, now y'all awake. See, I'm just checking the room. That's all. I'm checking the status over here and seeing what's happening. Because uh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, y'all. So, I, you know, we just kind of get geared up, get this rubber band tightened up so we can let it fly. Woo! Okay. So, once again, we asked this question earlier when we were talking about giving thanks. So here's the same question. 
Yes. Does something first need to happen in order to trigger a response of us being thankful? Does mm. something need to happen first in no. order for you no. to be grateful, be thankful? Shouldn't. No. Should we, we, should be thankful a lot of the time for the way. past, the present, and the future. We do. Yeah. You know, thankful for the things we don't have yet. You know, like service said today. Right. See, and isn't that funny how our word coincides with the word that was yes, given? Yes, yes, yes. You see what I mean? That's how the Holy Spirit yes. drops stuff in your spirit. Yes. So your yes. alignment, yes. right? And there's confirmation. That way you know that the word you're receiving is good food. Yes. That's Being right. sown into good ground. You guys are good ground. Mm -hmm. Or else God wouldn't do this this way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's another thing to be thankful for. Yeah. It's another thing to be so excited about is True. look at the God we serve. How much love does he give to us that he would do that in service, yes. but he already did that with us, yes, sharing right. this word with us to give to you. Yes. It's, can you yes. see what the setup is like? Yes. It's real. Wow. And when you hear something again and again and in a different way and from a different teacher and in a way you understand, in a language you understand, yes. An example that you connect with, you're like, oh, I get it now. I might not talk all prim and proper, but, you know, <laughs> I can convey things to you in a proper manner. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so now that we understand <laughs> that to realize that there really is a distinction between giving thanks and being thankful. There really is a distinction. So once you get it in your mind that it's like, okay, they're similar, they're related, but they really are different things. Yes. So, all right, let's go to the Bible. Because there's a lot of scriptures about right. giving thanks and being thankful. And being thankful. Right. So, having gratitude throughout the Bible. Right. It's there. And there are lots and lots, but we just picked a few, well, just more than a few. I had to really cut us back here. Yeah. Okay. So, we're trying to keep it down. Yes, because we we're trying to be good stewards of our time. As our leaders told us, we will keep this <laughs> message. Short. short. <laughs> <laughs> We're only gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay, here's it's hard, y'all. It's hard. It's hard out here for a what? No, I ain't gonna say it. I know we do. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me, right? I need help. <laughs> okay. So first we got Philippians 4, 6 through 7, yes. New King James, okay? Does anybody want to read it so we're not talking all the Be time? Anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Mm. Yes. Anxious for nothing. Right. Anxious Let your request be made and known to God, wow. the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Wow. Okay. Let your request right. be known. Right? Mm -hmm. So that means we got to be verbal. Mm -hmm. We have yes, to be. That's the most important. With thanksgiving. And with thanksgiving. With it. That's, that's the key. Like, look at this. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication. Okay. With, with. thanksgiving. It's so tied together. With yes. everything we do, we do it with thanksgiving. In well, other hold words, it, hold it, hold it, hold it. it's part of you being thankful. It says, be anxious for nothing, but okay. in everything, by prayer and supplication. So you're praying, praying. supplicating. But and you're with being thanksgiving verbal. means you're already given the thanksgiving yes. before you receive Before you've seen it. There was, there was where we were headed earlier in the message, right? Yeah. Right. I said, I'm going to hold that off. Right. See? Because sometimes we got to start giving thanks for the situation changing. Sometimes we're going through some stuff. But there's growth in the pain. I was talking to, to yeah. Thelma earlier. Yeah. There's growth in our pain. There's a reason behind that. A lot of us go around and question God, why is this happening to me? Why am I going through this? Why am I suffering with that? Blah, 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 blah. Well, there's, there's a reason for the season. Yes. Right. Can I get an amen? amen. Right. I'm preaching good over here. You see what I'm saying? There's a reason for every season we go through, every transition in our life. But can you be thankful? Sometimes when you're going through it, you can because you get in your feelings and stuff. But if you align Man. yourself the way you're supposed to, then you remind yourself to stop and actually ask God what the blessing is. What I'm learning. What am I supposed to learn? Right. What am I supposed to learn here, God? Yeah. Humble me enough, Father, that I'll see the blessing within this lesson. Yeah. Because we can't see it. 
Because why? He, he said it earlier. Yeah. Right? We're human. The human world teaches us that this behavior, right? Yeah. Right. And, what and it's in a behavior of higher expectations than we ought to have. And like he said with the tennis ball, it's a learned, uh, how does it? Reflex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, muscle memory. Yeah. Just a quickie that we've been taught in this church that when we see a mountain, be thankful because we yes. know there's a blessing on the other side. Oh, my right. God. And that's a living. Blessing. That's living a life of being thankful, yes. being grateful. Because just like we were talking about the world, the world teaches us to give thanks when you get something, right? right? Otherwise, you're just sitting around waiting for it. Otherwise, you're just sitting around miserable, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then when you finally get something, you get a blessing, you're like, yeah, thank you, God, woo, I'm so blessed. Yeah. But then something bad happens in your life, and then what comes out? Like, if you're not being thankful or being a grateful person all the time, if it's not an adjective that describes who you are, then what comes out of you in times of crisis is yeah. worry, fear, anxiousness, right? Yeah. But if you are being a grateful person, Gary what comes out of you is like, hey, thanks for this lesson. Yeah. What are we here Thank to learn? Yeah. Gary made a good point about the mountain, you know. Yeah. What's on the other side of it, right? Uh, I, had, I had a great honor... Uh, after neck surgery, you know, I had my neck replaced, and King Raj was there with me, and, and a lot of my brothers in this room were there with me to pray me through it. But after that surgery, God led me to go out to Dream City Church, and I, I was privileged to climb a mountain out there with Dr. Tommy Burnett. 80-year-old man. I could not keep up with this man climbing this mountain. But he kept reassuring me, though, the entire time we're going up. He's like, King Adi, you're going, to get, you're going to get a blessing up here. If we get up here, you're going to see the blessings. And your, your body's going to be different. God's going to transform you. How many have seen a transformation in me? Amen. How many have witnessed the blessings of God? Amen. That's right. See, that's my testimony. <laughs> of what God is. Sema. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Speaking in front of, what, 500 people there or better. You know, God has done some great things. You know, but how did we get there? How did we get there? And it was it was because there was still growth within the pain. But I had to give thanks and be thankful in the process. Right. Knowing that I'm being restored. Knowing that I'm getting a new body. Knowing that if I keep serving him, I'll be here today. Amen. Right. For such a time as this. So you're not thankful for the pain. You're thankful in the I'm process. Thankful. In the oh, process. Oh, say it one more time. Louder. 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 You're not That's thankful good. for the pain. You're thankful for the process oh. that gets you to the other side. <sighs> Because so you know your blessings blessing. waiting for you on the other yeah. side. There's always a blessing. Yeah. Always a blessing. Count it as joy. Count it as right. pure joy. Joy. Thank you. Right? Count it as pure joy. Yes, Christine. So after or during, right, you're waiting on something and you're believing for what God has in store and you get the blessing. After that, you got to be very careful not to say, well, it's about time. We're finally yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're pushing yourself back. Yeah. Right. Yes. Good. You're like setting yourself up for failure. I like to go a step further, too. When I was caught up in my pride, I would have to say I'm entitled to nothing because mm. your entitlement go over. That Correct. Right. Yes. And what comes before pride? The fall. That's what the world teaches you is, is entitlement. Yeah. It yeah. does. So when you operate from a, a starting position of thankfulness, your identity flows from that. Yes. Right. So you're able to extend that to your spouse. Yes. That's good. When you're entitled. That's why they call him King Rise. Yeah. That's where the name comes That's from. That's literally the end of our teaching. Watch, <laughs> say, literally, say it one more time louder. When you, when you operate from a starting point of thanks, thankfulness, your identity is aligned with that. And you start from that. So mm. you extend that to your spouse and your children. Amen. Amen. But when you're entitled, that's the flesh. It rises up. I deserve this. Yes. But you don't. We have breath in our lungs because of Right. Amen. Yes. Jesus. That's what grace is about too, right? Uh -huh. We get what we don't deserve. That's right. Because if God gave us what we deserve, where would we be? Mm. Thank God for grace. See, there's right. some, one more thing to be thankful for, right? Yeah. That he gave us that. 
Did you really want so to many different to things? <laughs> and we <laughs> we'd be damned. That's exactly we'd be damned. the answer to that question. Right. Damned to hell. That's Excuse me. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what Raj said. We did a teaching a while ago. What's in your cup? I don't know if you guys remember that, right? What's in your yep. cup? You're carrying a coffee cup. Somebody bumps you. Spills what comes over. spilling out? So it's just like us in life. When you get trials and tribulations, crisis, and they will come, it doesn't even say in the Bible you're going to lead this perfect life. It says in the there's, Bible there's, there's not one of us that's, that happens. that's immune right. to it. Okay. And when it happens, what comes spilling out of you? What right? Yeah. Yeah. Fear, anxiousness, worry, anger, bitterness, Man. hatred, or if you're already living a thankful life, if that is already part of your identity and who you are, yes. what comes spilling out of you is that, is more yeah. of the same. I'm thankful. Man. I, I'm I was thankful. listening to my brother talk to me and, and going through loss, right? And was still able to give thanks in the loss, in the pain. And, and that's where a lot of this, this came from, this message. Yeah. Is because of that expression of love for God and His process, and knowing where He is in His walk with God. And I get the chills right now. I'm trying to hold back, but His walk is an inspiration to me. Yes. See, because sometimes we're standing beside someone, trying to lock arms with them in love, and love them through something, and to keep them strong. Because we could get very weak. Yeah. We can get very weak. We can get angry, like she said. We can get depressed. There's a lot of emotions that get tied up into life. And what we have to learn is how to deal with these emotions in a thankful manner. Yes. Because then, through that process <coughs> and of those emotions, but us being thankful and giving thanks to the Creator... Right? Amen. Through that process, there's growth. Yes. There's a blessing on the other side. We don't see it right now. Right. And trust me, trust me. Sometimes that pain will still pop up through a song, True. through something somebody says, mm -hmm. through something you see. All these things will pop up these other emotions. Oh, you mean a trigger? A trigger. I'm talking about a trigger. A trigger. That's another class we taught. Yes. Okay, about triggers. But those things will pop up, right? But how many know that because we've been through this process, right? We've been through this process, we can now trust. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel okay, this. All right, maybe go ahead. Yeah. Now we can trust God more than we ever trusted because we know that, oh, wait a minute. A while ago, I was at the bottom of that mountain. Looking up, thinking it's impossible. Yeah. I've been to this other side of this mountain because God made it possible. Right. So thank you, Lord, that I'm in this situation, but I know I'm going to get to the top. Amen. Oh, see? There's a blessing right there, right? Amen. Yeah. So you got to be thankful for the process. And what you're saying is it's all about perspective? Mm-hmm. Is that what you're saying? Take it home. <laughs> you're Take saying that, home. <laughs> that living a thankful life and being thankful and having that part of who we are and our character and our being, it's all about perspective? All about it. All right. How do you look at everything? I'm going to give you a prime example. So I'm in healthcare. I do ultrasound, high-risk OB. Okay. So all day long I'm scanning pregnant gals who have a really high-risk pregnancy, so we see them a lot. And I'm going to tell you about perspective. I got... A big lesson the other day. Okay, here comes a gal, third trimester. You know when you're all, ladies who've done it, you're all swollen, your feet hurt, your face is swollen, you're exhausted, your back hurts, right? Third trimester. Hey. What so am I? One woman. <laughs> so you'll get a patient come in the room. Oh my God, my feet, I can't do anything. Rah, 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 the whole time. Now we're do I'm doing the ultrasound, showing them their beautiful, perfect, healthy baby, but they're still going. I can't fit in anything. I can't wait to give birth. I just want to remember, 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 remember the whole time. Then the next patient comes in, and maybe they're even twice as swollen, twice as in pain, more high risk than the one that I just scanned. But that patient, you know what they say? I thank God for every moment of this because I had such a hard time getting pregnant. 
and we went through IVF and, and, and everything. This baby is such a blessing. I will take every minute of this pain and this swelling and losing my body and right and, and not knowing I, because I'm so thankful and grateful for this life in me. And I'm like, it's so it's so about perspective. Okay? So the first woman who was like rah, 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 forgot that there She's are, living in what the world set up, right? Right. She wants her prize. She wants her prize. She wants the end, right? She wants her instant gratification, and I didn't sign up for this, and whatever, whatever. But sometimes it's a, it's a painful process. Right. And my brother so, mentioned that this morning, right? Yeah. When you, you get can, on them stairs, you're going to do these things. Right. And, but there's a blessing in that. That's going to drop more than anything for you. So when you can learn <laughs> to be thankful in that process, it changes your whole perspective on everything. Right. And that patient that day, like, I was blessed. I mean, I'm, you know, they leave, I'm taking notes to write a sermon about it. But, you know, I'm like, wow. It is all about perspective. Like, whatever you're going through, perspective. There's, there's power that's producing your pain. There, there's yeah. power. There's, this is what this whole thing is about, folks. Because, yes, we're ending a season, right? But the world says Thanksgiving is over on Thursday night, right? That's what the world tells us. And Friday's black. And, and Friday's black <laughs> Sunday. A black Friday. Man, Friday. that proves the black is beautiful. Friday. But I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the greatest sales come in. <laughs> but here's the thing. This new season that didn't end. It's a new season. That's right. Okay? Yes, we're headed towards the end of the year. But we're going to enter the new year with thanksgiving and praise. It didn't stop on Thursday. It just got started. This is a reminder. Like I said, we're getting that rubber band wound up. What happens when you get that sucker wound up? You ever put made a little airplane? Oh, so tight. Man. Man. Okay. Takes off, don't it? I see a hand in the back that was risen by... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rubber band man. So, I was, when you were talking about perspective, being thankful, um, it just made me think about um, when Jesus endured the cross. Yes. It says, let us, in Hebrews 12 and 2, it says, let, looking upon Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So, what we're use, utilizing to be thankful for, he's he's already finished it. He's Amen. the author and the finisher of that thing right. that we utilize to be thankful for. The, you know, that's the component for which we operate in for the thankfulness. Correct. So he's the author and finisher of that thing. And it says, who for the joy. He went to the cross for the joy of salvation. Yes. He went to the cross so that yes. we could be thankful. Right. He went to the cross for all the promises that we get because he went Amen. to the cross. Right. Amen. He knew that there would be, he knew the joy of having health. Yes. You know, no death. The freedom of choice. Freedom the of restoration choice. of what was given to us in the garden. He right. went to the cross for that. Mm, yeah. So it says, because he endured, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame. Right. So there was shame in that. There's shame. Right? Um, that he may be seated on the right hand of God at the throne. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think that, like you were saying earlier, situations come that are shameful that are disappointing, that are hurtful, that produce emotions, right. that keep arising and, and you having to face them over and over. Over and you over. You think you have passed them. Um, frustration and family members and all of that. But it told it tells us so clearly to look at Jesus. You know what I'm that's saying? That's our example. He, that's our example. That's our example. He was able to be thankful because he knew that enduring this mm. got us this. And yes. sometimes... We need to visualize or we need to see the greater picture. Yes. Yeah. Come on. It's hard to be thankful when you only see the problem. Right. Yep. right. But right. it's right. easy to be thankful when you see the promise. Yeah. Right? right. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get past seeing the problem and get to the point where we see the promise. My promise is I want the wonderful Being relationship. Being thankful for what we don't have. Yes. 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 Right. Being thankful for what. But I got to visualize that. That has to be more real to me than what I'm going through. Man. Right? That has to be, I have to live in that. 
Yes. I have right. to experience that every day. I have to, and so when I'm living in that and I'm experiencing that, and I think that more that more real than what I'm going through. When y'all teach again, you preaching now, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's easy for me to be thankful because that yes. becomes my reality. Right? Because that's right. in your cup, though. That's in my cup. That's in your cup. Now, that's what's like spilling mom, out of her. But oh, wait a minute. Does that right mean now. that you're not going to go through trials? No. Does that mean that it's not painful? Hey, are you exempt from trials? Mean, oh, no. Heck, Does no. that mean you live a perfect life and nothing ever happens? No, but I'm seeing past the cross. Oh. I'm seeing. You're past. being thankful for what you haven't received. I'm being thankful. Right. And, our, uh -huh. and we have our vision. I could put my hand in front of me, but I could still see you. That's right. right. I'm looking past my hand to my promise. Yes. Mm. It doesn't distract me. The hand is there. Correct. But I also know what's beyond the hand. Right. Because right. okay. it's all about Ooh. perspective. It's, it's about what's perspective. beyond that mountain. That's exactly it's all it. About the right. That's a metaphor that, that God put in the Bible. You, know, If you speak to that mountain, it can't be moved. There it is. Right? It's a metaphor. Right. I've never seen a mountain get up and walk, but that problem. That circumstance, I can move that through my words. Right? Yeah, this is true. right? It says being verbal. Make it known. Correct? Yeah. But I got to not be what? I got to be not, not anxious. Oh, she changed it up. No. no, no, it's right here. I can't be anxious. I can't be anxious. I can't worry. But that's how many of us lose sleep over worry? Oh, I have Does it change anything? That. No. Or does it make you baggy-eyed, yeah, looking like a raccoon the next day? <laughs> right? Man. But you know what? That's human. That's human for us to do these things. It's the flesh. She's in a hurry. No, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just we got till noon, right? No. We got till really? noon. I thought I said 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. She said things till noon. See, you don't you love her? <laughs> I'm thankful for her. I am so thankful oh for her God. right now because there's a lot we got to get out. We ain't talking to women. Okay, okay. <laughs> Next scripture is Colossians. Does anybody Woo. want to read it? So we're not talking all the time. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Be what? Thankful. Oh. In one body. One mm. one body. And even These are key words. We have to we have to just don't read this thing. Decipher this thing. Yeah. Because there's hidden truths in the Bible. There it is. There's hidden truths in this word. But you have to decipher it. You can't just take it for one word. You can't take it for just a a, a, a comma. There's a meaning for that. You take that out, it changes the whole sentence. Right. Each, word is well, powerful. Each word is powerful. I see a little word up there that says let. Let. Mm. What happens when you let the peace? Oh, you mean you don't force the peace? You don't make it happen? Like or you our don't, humans, we're like, oh. you don't hold it back. You don't oh. hold it up. You so you let, let it flow free? And, and notice, notice, right in the middle. Do you see how we're deciphering God this? There's a difference. Let the peace of God, God. rule in your hearts. Oh. Does he right. have any doubt about the peace he's provided? What happens when we let him rule over our hearts? Mm -hmm. yeah. What happens? That we live a thankful life. That We're we able to be thankful. thankful. Your heart is he gives us that peace, that unspeakable yeah. joy. That's his word, not Kenyatta's, yeah. not Roberta's. Yep. That's, right. That's God's word. How many in here can take God's word for what it is? Mm -hmm. when, when he rules, all the world's rules. Goes out the right. window, man. Mm -hmm. When they told me I'd never walk again. Look at you. How do you think I felt? Standing there looking at her. Or I got a 30% chance of making it through this surgery. How do you think I felt? But what did I choose? Peace of God. God's peace. Mm -hmm. I choose to let God mm -hmm. take that surgeon's hand, take those nurses' hands. That's right. And rule over them and change this mess. That's right, yeah. Where did I tell you? I'm which on a time? what? Which time? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, which right, surgery? right. Which time? Oh, the one he just had last month when he almost lost his life again. Yeah. Everybody who knows that? It was awful. Mm -hmm. Well, man. Ooh, that was yeah. totally a testimony. That was not was just teaching, but. Oh, yeah. Lordy. Yeah. yeah. You know what blood clots are, right? This last mm -hmm. one was the scariest of them all. 
it. Or I had a dual PE, they call it. So. Called saddle PE. Well, saddle PE. It's on both lungs and one blocking your main artery of your heart. Like it was right about, yeah, center. very close to it. They told me I had an hour left in me. Wow. They didn't know how I made it to the hospital, to the emergency room. I walked in there. But I passed out in the chair. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember. I woke up in the emergency room. Got you there. So a normal but person. But the doctor is... came in and said the same thing. He, you know what the doctor told me? This is real, y'all. This wasn't part of the speech. No. And, and, and one, more than one doctor told me this. But God's got a great calling on your life to take to spare you That's like true. this. He wow. said this is a silent killer. Yep. Wow. Do you know that you should not be here right now? Do you know how I many these I do every day? They don't make it. Hallelujah. This was just a few weeks ago. Yep. Literally yep. last month, like a month ago. Yep. Do you see why I'm thankful? You yeah. are. Yes. Hallelujah. But even those words could have discouraged you, but they didn't. They did no. not. Right. They did not. It's because you have that peace and power. I have that peace. And not only that. Here's and I let God in. You see what I'm saying? Now here's a testimony. <clears throat> not only. Did these words not discourage this man? They got him excited. That's like, he that was all up. Man, I'm he like, fired like, up. You want to challenge me with God? Yeah, well, oh, I already know what he can do. Right. When they told me I'd never walk again, I told the doctor, I said, I'm walking out of here. Jeremy knows. Every surgery, he'll, he'll show people the video, the whatever, the pictures of it. He's like, look what happened to me. And I'm still alive. Like, it totally man. gets me going. It's part of his testimony. It's part of my testimony. Because he's... Thankful. He's just a thankful person. It's part what of his say? character. We're, by the words of what? Our testimony to others. If if God could pull me through this, a big sinner, right? Man, you guys don't know my past, but it wasn't pretty. <laughs> but if he can love me that much to breathe life back into me, allow me to walk again, allow me to stand here in the presence of you guys and teach you and have me travel around the country around the world, teaching the others about what he's done for me, what can he do for you? Right. What has he done for you? Amen. Reflect back. Yes. Reflect back. Quit looking at the past as a negative and look at it as a growth opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What did you learn from that challenge? What have you learned that God has done for you? How do, do you thank him for his blessings? Yes. Do you thank him for saving your marriages? Keeping your kids alive. I don't know where my son is, but I know that God's keeping him. And I know that God's going to touch him and bring him back beside me. All of my sons. I am not worried about that. What did I have to do? I had to let go. go. I had to let God. I had to. But was there struggle in that? Was there pain in that process? Oh, my God. But I got peace. As soon as I let go. Mm. Oh. Yes, Jeremy. Abraham could have could have been in God's way. I remember he took Isaac up the hill. Right. But what did but what did Abraham say to his servant? He said, Me and my boy will be right back. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Why did Words. He, how did he say that? How could he say that? We'll because be right he already knew the promise. Yeah. He was already in thanksgiving. Of the promise Come on. of not only himself, already but God there. had already given covenant to, but also through that covenant saying he was going to be what? A father of many nations. So he was not by covenant not going to his take child. Isaac anyway. Yeah. He was just taking and going, are you thankful? Yes. Are you going to give of what I've given you? Man. That's good. And he already knew because he looked ahead of it. That's right. Looked past the cross, saying, I'm, He's not going to let me kill my own kid. Nope. Right. right. God loves me too much, right? God loves you too much. All right. You know, I'm looking at this situation in my marriage or in my friendship or whatever, and I can't see beyond it. But thank you, God, that you got a path for us. Yes. Thank you, God, that this process is just temporary. Yeah. Yeah. It's temporal. Yes. Even though it's bad when you're in it. Who yeah. Does anybody like that going through that? No. But was there a process in it? Yes. You got to trust the process. And you can trust that it's good. 
It's mm -hmm. good. It's going to be Are you stronger good. today than you were then? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? There's a pro when we go through processes. My little beautiful niece, she's up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's so beautiful. She learned yeah. she But you know what? She's got a gift. Yes, she does. She's got a lot to be thankful for. Yes, she does. And God's going to use her in a great way. Amen. You see what I'm saying? We got young people here that we overlook sometimes, but we got to be thankful for them. Amen. Yeah. We really do. Because God sent them as a blessing to us. Don't think that they can't speak into us. Man, oh, come on. She spoke to me one day. Dominic. See? That's crazy. Wow. They can do it. They can do it. I begged my mother one time when I was eight years old. I begged her not to drive her car to work. And I said, Mom, just don't, don't, <laughs> just promise me, you know. Because this is going to happen. You know, I don't want you to go today, but this is going to happen. I was eight years old. We got the phone call. She got a bad car accident. But she didn't get a scratch on her. Because I asked her to pray. Faith of a child. Faith of a child. I asked my mom to pray. I said, Mom, please pray. I don't want you to go to work. Well, I got to go when we eat. But I don't want you to go. But please pray, Mom, because God's going to protect you if you do that. I didn't know God at that point, but I just knew what I had to tell my mother. Yeah. Out of the mouths of babes. But what happened then, right? I used my words to let it be known. Yes. So when we say thank you, God, we're letting him know our hearts. What's in our cup? That's right. Yes. Right. We're right. spilling over gratefulness and thankfulness. And joy and peace. So he can pour back into us. Right. And that cup will what? Runneth over. Yeah, that's right. Good measure. Press down. Shaking yeah. together. And what? Running. Running over. Come on, I need y'all to participate. Running. We're back there. Running. 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 I hate to repeat myself. Because I'm, you know, I got some history there. I got PTSD on that. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Your cup runneth what? Over. over. Okay, all right. <laughs> Don't make a brother go off. <laughs> okay, next scripture. Hebrews 12, 28. Anybody? Right. Let's get somebody else to read. Oh, Doretha raised her hand. Doretha. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't out of Oh, that's right. You can't read? Yeah. <laughs> see? No. Oh, oh, I can't see. She can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Steve can see. Therefore, since we are receiving we are a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful that he is able to all right, so let us be thankful. There it is again, right? And we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. In other words, that's that's our promise. That's our ultimate promise. I mean, wow, with that in front of our face, all this worldly stuff, yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it's a mess when you're in it. But perspective. Like, our kingdom cannot be shaken. Our promise from God cannot be shaken. Our relationship with Jesus, with God, it can't be shaken. Right? It can't be. So when you have your eyes on that prize, everything else, like, it kind of takes a back seat. It's a different perspective. It doesn't mean you don't deal with it and you ignore it, but it's a different perspective. Expand on that. Because the last yeah. few verses, you know, it's let us be thankful. So that, that's a lifestyle. That's just not, again, it's not just in the good. You know, you have to be thankful even in the bad. In the That's bad. Right? Come on. Praise to God when Repeat that. When you vehicle or what have you, right? But, you know, but you're cussing him before that, right? So right. you can praise him even after you get it. Oh, right. Man. So being thankful, I feel, is a lifestyle. It's oh. a lifestyle. That's oh. the whole point of the teaching. Be thankful is a lifestyle. <laughs> man. All right. Next one. First That's, a That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. It's a lifestyle. Demetrius. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Demetrius I'm not supposed to say it like that. T-shirt bumper sticker. <laughs> All right, who wants to take this Dr. one? Dr. Bishop. Over there. Do it. Oh, can you see it? Jamie, <laughs> no, I can't see it. Can you, <laughs> Jamie, make glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Okay, here it goes. Oh, Jesus. Rejoice always. <laughs> <laughs> Magnifying, girl. Thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ. She can it's see. It's like right here. Oh, <laughs> Perspective. <laughs> Dang, she's, re she's reading the 2020 level. <laughs> <laughs> no more glasses. Oh, 
for this, we picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> we, picked, we picked this scripture. It says, in everything, give thanks, right? So we're talking about giving thanks versus being thankful. But this scripture is different because what is it saying? In everything, give thanks. So in other words, be thankful all the time. Yeah. Remember I told you that there's thanks. hidden truths? Yeah. So you break these words down, everything. So this is more about a state Check that of out always in the dictionary. Well, what's everything? Anybody got a dictionary on their phone? Everything. everything. Let's hear that definition all of everything. Because it's all inclusive, right? Yes. Yes. Even in the bad? Even the bad stuff. Even really? Even, Even in, in the trials, pain. Like the pain? Man. The mess we go through in life? Be so, thankful in that? Even what we hear. Really? Yeah. Be thankful in everything. Everything. Okay. okay. You got it? You want it? Yes. Yeah. Um, everything. It's a pronoun. All things, all things of a group or a class. Uh, second one, uh, the current situation or life in general. Oh, life did you hear that? General. Life in uh, general. That's, that's the good, the bad, the that's, ugly. The, yeah. All, all inclusive, all. right? It's everything. It's answer D on that test. It says all of the above. <laughs> it's answer D. Gary, tear me up over here. All of the above. You're going to sit in the back next time. Everything. No. All right, next one. Psalms. Who wants to take it? Come on, Thelma. Thelma, come on. I will praise the name. <laughs> I will praise the name of God with the song, and I will magnify Him with Thanksgiving. Psalms 29 and 30. Yeah. Wow. With Thanksgiving. Magnify. Yes. Make it bigger than ever. Huh? Bigger yeah. than ever. That really looks. Magnified. She did what Steve's yeah. glasses did for Doretha. <laughs> 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 She just oh, magnified that, that stuff. That <laughs> so that means it's, bring it into focus. Bringing it into focus. Is, is the word song? And make it bigger. And make it bigger. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Make it God bigger. always. It didn't say us bigger. to make our problem bigger, did it? No, it says magnify God. God. And make Him bigger. Oh, I, I told you about being anxious, right? Yeah. What do you do? Go ahead. Is the word song in this in this scripture? Is that a metaphor for? Words that are coming out of our mouths, out of our lips. So yes. So, yeah. You know, praise Him with the name of God with a song. Yes. Right? It, mean like, uh, it doesn't yes. mean like we're, it, worship. you know, worship. Yeah. It's, it's a, a thank you, Lord. Right. Thank Absolutely. you, Lord. Because that's music to God's ears. Right. Yeah, there you go. He says it. Right. In the, in the word. It. We're in agreement. It's in agreement. Truth. Right. But what's in your heart is what comes out of your mouth. That's right. Oh, what's right. your cup, so, man? Right what's in your cup? And uh, so out of the out of the mouth out of the mouth the heart speaketh. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth See? Speaks. So okay. that heart is a heart issue. Mm -hmm. And I, I really but don't we speak see, the positives. This scripture doesn't say I will praise the name of God with a song when everything's going good right. and will magnify him with thanksgiving. No. I will right. praise the name of God with a song when my life is perfect and will magnify him with thanksgiving. That's not in there. So, in other words, do we magnify him with thanksgiving when we're being thankful in our mess? Are we magnifying him when others are seeing us go through and we're still thankful? And we're still living that thankful life and praising God through the trials? Yes. Doesn't that magnify him? For the outcome. Or are we praising him when we lost it all? Right. And we can't see a way out? Yeah. Are we still praising him? Or who, are, who else are we magnifying? Who else are we right. the, uh, to the enemy, oh. and we're right. giving in to our problem, and life. we're slam, you know, putting our spouse on notice, and we're doing all these things. We're just magnifying the enemy, and then what are we doing? Exactly. Right. We're just sowing up seeds. Now we're giving power to the we're wrong entity. Mm -hmm. Right. You're sowing seeds that'll multiply. Mm -hmm. Yes, and anything you sow and give water to, what's it going to do? It's going to grow. grow. It's going to grow. Yeah. 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 So, so we got to le learn our words are so powerful. Mm. And they coincide with the thought. Right. The thought gets into the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And it changes it. the world. But, but I didn't mean it. You, well, you got to repent and stop saying so it. So then <laughs> speak crop failure over it then. Correct. Words. Words. What, is the, what does the farmer do, right, when he plants a seed? He tills the soil first. He comes and plants the seed. Does he see automatic and immediate growth? No. Seed, what does he have to do? And seed, time, and harvest. Exactly. He's got to come back and water that thing. When weeds pop up, what are weeds in our lives? 
their doubts, their doubts. problems, their yep. sickness, Trials, there's illness, yep. there's fighting, there's in dis uh, yep. discouragement, okay. there's all these things, right? There's pest. So he's got to go in and pull the weeds out. He's got to spray preventative on there, right? And, and then he's got to put some nutrients on there. But sooner or later, out of that dirt, come on, y'all. Y'all got to get this part. Yeah. This is important, right? But out of that dirt sprouts new life. Right. All right. Crap. And it pushes yeah. up through the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that means it comes through something. It had to go through some dirt. Oh, y'all didn't get that. They ain't getting what I'm saying. Yeah, you yeah. Are, no, you're right. We are, the, we are the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have we some are the dirt. In there too. Yes, you oh. gotta put some manure in it to <laughs> cause the heat. <laughs> the, 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 the manure brings the heat, so the man. The plants gotta take a little. Oh, I, I'm not. There's a little fire that goes on in that dirt. That's right. There's a little That's friction right. that goes on in there to create that sprouting. That's right. That manure creates more heat. Mm -hmm. And in the fire, mm. we, we come out, but we don't smell like smoke. That's right. Don't smell like, don't smell like manure. Don't smell like manure. <laughs> and we don't smell like that other thing. Do we get any, do we get any <laughs> seed out of those plants? Oh, my goodness. Do we ever? Have you ever looked into an apple? Yeah. And inside of that apple, there's what? Seeds. There's more than one? Yes. But in that one seed, how many can grow? A whole tree. Yeah. And in that tree, there's what? Oh, more, seeds. Seeds. Yeah, right. more apples with more seeds. Right. It got in multiplication. Yeah, yeah. of course. So we multiply. Tomatoes. See what I'm saying? What do you tell us to do? Go forth and multiply. Right. Oh, my goodness. He's in the multiplication, y'all. Yes, he is. And the best lesson. And multiplication best. comes in many things, I'm sorry. But it comes in a blessing. Mm -hmm. It can be multiplied. Go ahead. The best lessons that we give oftentimes are our own personal testimonies, our own trials, mm -hmm. our own manure that we had to go through, right? Mm -hmm. So if you hold back that blessing and don't teach or share with others, then you're not multiplying. You're not spreading that seed, that joy of God. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's about meeting together and, and having friends and bouncing things off each other and calling in times of need. Right. That's what we need to do for each other. Right. right? You don't have to be around a friend all the time. Right. But just let them know I'm praying for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got your back, mm -hmm. dog. I'm, I'm there. And you don't see me, but I'm, I'm in prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm in my closet praying for you. Yes. I feel what you're going through. And I love you enough to really take it to God and let him do it. Because I can't do it. I can't fix it. But I know who can. And I trust the process that he puts us through. And that in that process, there's a healing. In that process, there's a reward. But we can't see it right now. But I'm with you. I'm praying for you. And by God, if I tell you I'm praying, I'm, I'm doing it. She knows, man. I'm doing it. Or I'm calling my brother King Raj up. I'm calling somebody. Hey, join me with this. This is a this is a doozy. Yeah, <laughs> I need this mountain to move. Go ahead, Mr. Demetrius. Circle up, Mr. Baby. Circle up. So, Dr. Baby, Bishop. So what I'm getting points being is like, <laughs> um, like Bishop. so there's a process on both ends. Yes, sir. Through ourselves, but through the blessing. Right. Because the thing about it is, what if the mountain wasn't there? What if? And you got to the blessing. Would that blessing be prepared? Mm. Because just like they were talking about the fruit, all right, so I planted the apple. It goes through a process before you can eat. So Correct. what if that mountain wasn't there? When you got there, it wouldn't be a tree. You wouldn't have an apple. Right. Or at the same point in time, that apple might not be prepared. So you can't skip, right. so you can't skip, skip the step. You can't and skip the, the other process. And thing about it as myself going up the mountain, Maybe when I see the blessing, I don't even recognize it's a blessing because Ooh. I haven't went up the mountain. Right. Come on. He just got I it. have no idea he just got that it. the blessing is in front of me <sighs> because I have not went through the process. Not. The fruit is not ripe. That's right. It's not ready. So we must be thankful for the mountain to prepare us for the blessing. Man. We so have to go through the process. What is he saying? In every season. 
We have to be thankful. We've got to give. We gotta give thanks. And also, same holds true with orange trees or whatever. Sometimes that, that growth process and that yield that comes forth, that first batch of oranges, apples, cherries, whatever, they're, 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 they're bitter. The right. sweetness haven't arrived yet, right? right? So we got to wait for another season, another process, another growth, and then the sweetness comes in. Yeah, but you didn't and it gets get better to. and better through the process. You didn't even get to the pruning. Didn't get to the yeah. pruning. When you do some pruning, Man. wait till next Woo. time it harvests that fruit. Yeah. There's even we more. We did that to a grapefruit tree the first year. Oh. Let's say we picked uh, 200 of them. Second year after the pruning, we picked about 1,000 of them. It's like, right. man, what? What's yeah, this? multiplication. Well, and, and I don't want my I don't want <laughs> my blessing half baked. It's a process, though, right? I don't want my blessing half baked. I don't want my blessing half baked. Don't want half baked. Just like Demetrius said, I want the full blessing. I want the full thing. I don't want a half baked blessing. I don't want to rush things. I don't want to do it before it's ready. I want the full right. blessing. We got one more scripture. Oh, we got one more. Thing. We got one more scripture, y'all. One more scripture. Oh, Who's gonna take it? One Enter one. into his gates with thanksgiving mm. and into his courts with praise wow. be thankful to him and bless his name bless his name and that that him his you notice what that is yeah that's god that's capitalized it ain't about you it's not about it's not about a person it's either. not about the worldly state it's not about of things nobody else but him. it's about him Right. It's all about him. Being thankful is all about him. That's right, so that's what this teaching is really about. It's about giving versus being. And we could substitute different words, right? Yeah. You, we could, you're giving gratitude versus being grateful. I mean, there's a right. bunch of different words you could toss in there, but it's about the difference between giving and being. being. Okay. Um, so if you're living in a state of thankfulness, this is who you are. And then it's so much easier because that's what's coming out of you, okay? So, I want to end with this picture. Now, we have this up. How many of you does it hurt your hearts to see this picture? Yeah, just so like a, clear, if you ever come to my house and you cut a piece of pile, like, are you a local? Man, I, I, get a I got a tad right. bit of OCD in me, too. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this right here. <laughs> this right here. Okay. You know the you know the words. So here's the thing. I ain't going for that one. Like this person. <laughs> Philip Wood Green. This person <laughs> got their peace. They got their blessing. But they didn't get the full effect. They well, and what about effect. everybody that comes after them that cuts their peace? Yeah. What did they get? They get shortchanged. Because this person wanted it all, right? They wanted to stand out. They wanted their peace. I don't care yeah. about everybody else as long as they got my peace. Everybody else behind me, whatever. Get mine. You get yours right. later. <laughs> so if we want to leave you guys with an image, it's this. Because when you are a grateful person, when you're living a thankful life, when it's part of who you are, you will never take that centerpiece because you always have everybody else in mind, right? You're thankful for your blessings, and you want others to be blessed. And they left something. part of who you are. They left something, but they could have cut the crust off still and still been thankful for what they had. How much harder was it to take that piece out? It's much right. more hard. <laughs> right. You see what I mean? But sometimes we want to take the harder road than the smarter road. Right. They didn't even get the whole blessing because the crust is the best part. The crust is the best part. I totally agree with that. Isn't it, though? Yeah. They just lost. Right. They lost out. They let go too soon. Yeah. Don't, don't let go too soon. Right. Yeah. Don't give up in the process. Be thankful for the process. Right. For the struggle. Because God's always got, he says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to what? Prosper, Prosper you. you and to fill you up. Right? Oh, Everything that God has for us and he knows already. We don't, it, he noticed that part, right? I know. It doesn't say Kenyatta knows. It doesn't say Roberta knows. Doretha don't know. Steve don't know. Gary don't know. But God knows. Amen. He knows the plans for you. So that what does that tell me I got to do? I got to hold on to his unchanging hand. I got to hold on through this whole process and know that you are God and you are God alone. And you got my back. You got my back, Lord. Right. Do what you got to do. Because yeah. I know your plan is great for me. Right. 
Do what you got to do. I serve you. I'm thankful. I love you. But I got to go through the process. Right. Prepare me for that. Help me walk, 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 walk through this thing. Right. Make me stronger. Surround me with my circle of trust and my circle of friends and my new family. Even though I can't see my way out, but they got my back. Right. They're praying for me when I can't see it. They're holding me up. What did they have to do to Moses? Hold up, Hold up his hands. Yeah. Had to support him. But what was he doing? He was still giving thanks. Yeah. That God, you got this. I can't see it, but I know you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Hold on. Be thankful. Be grateful. And with joy and supplication. That means to pray. Yes. And don't give up. Don't give in. Because just on the other side of that thing is a blessing. Yeah. And we got to receive that blessing before we see that blessing. Okay? You, you as, a, as a teenager going through life, you can't see all the blessings that God has for you. You can see the problems because you go through stuff that, and you go through stuff, Juice, that we don't go through now. We didn't experience it when we were younger. Okay? We didn't. There's new technology and all kinds of stuff that's going on now that I wasn't privy to. But these children, man, they, they, they got double what we had at their age. So what you got to do is trust the process. Trust that God's got your best interest at heart. Okay? Trust that God's got your parents to love, guide, and protect you, even though it may seem that they're, they're, they're being mean to you at times. Okay? It's a process. Just hold on and give it to God. Let God do it. Don't get offended with your parents. You're a teenager. That happens, right? Who in here didn't get offended by your parents? Well, yeah. <laughs> see? You see what I'm saying? I still get All of us did it. <laughs> All of us did it in this room. Still get offended by my parents. Still do, man. Still Mine are gone, so I can't be. But, you know, we still can do that. But we have to trust the process. Right. Okay? And we have to trust, above all things, we have to trust in God. So he can give us the good peace mm -hmm. and not receive the bad. And you know what? All right. I want the crust too. Yeah. I, I want above all the crust, yeah. right? I'm digging that center piece. I don't you digging want. that center piece. Oh. <laughs> Cut it off right here and you got it. <laughs> it's just like, Demetrius, thank you for that word. Because once again, I don't want a half fake blessing. Yes. I don't want a blessing because I forced and rushed it because I wanted to get to the end and I wanted to stop being in this season of mess right i don't want a half-baked blessing i want i want every i want the full blessing i want the full promise and sometimes the only way to get there is to go through yeah i'm so thankful that these children are here today me too you know we should give them a hand clap yeah. for sitting through this because how many lives can they change by these words amen. oh amen yeah. see what i'm saying mm. we should get more kids in here and, and, and build this thing up so we get even even more singles in here. Yeah. This is a class for everyone. Yes. This is not a class for just one one group of people. Nope. This is a class for everyone. It's a yes. champions class. Can you say champions class? Champions yeah. class. That's what this is. We need to we need to do that and bring more into it because there's a lot of good word that comes out of here. Yes, it does. And there's a lot of growth that comes out of this room. There is. After you receive the word in the sanctuary, you can grow a heck of a lot right here. Yeah. You can you can you can receive great relationships in this room. Yes. Double yes. portion. Amen. This is a life changing room. Is any, does anybody agree with me? Yes. yes. A life changing room. We're living, we're living proof of that. Man. Yeah. You know we we grow on each other and we love on each other in this class. And just think of what we can do if we had these babies in here. Yeah. Yeah. If we had these other singles in here. Mm -hmm. What can we do? So spread the word. Yes. Spread That's the word. Right. If you're out there in, in, in Facebook land and YouTube land, wherever you're at, get down here to the class. There's a change. There's a, different, there's a difference in the paradigm when you're here right. versus when you're where you're at and watching. If you're able to be here, if you're in town, if you're out of town, we can give you a grace ticket. We can give you that. <laughs> but come I'm cool on, with that, but if you ever, out. if you ever come to this area, don't miss this opportunity because this is an opportunity you don't want to pass you by. 
there's a blessing in this room. And that reminds me. All right, Steve and Dreetha are amazing leadership couple. Yes. Yeah, I'm in town leaders. again the weekend of December 18th, I think 19th. So we can teach again on December 19th if you want to, because I'll be in town in California. Yes. We can teach again in December. That's if anybody wants to hear us again. I, you know, that's up to you. But the thing is, uh, you know, we're, we're humble servants of God. And it's never about us. No, no. Okay? It's never about us. Those that know us and know me, you know our heart. Yeah. It's never about us. It's all about him. Yes. And it's all about giving him the glory and being a blessing to others so we can sit here and see the outcome of the fruit. That's the most amazing part. Yeah. We pruned off a lot of different things in yeah. people's lives. We plucked out some weeds. We sprayed some weed killers. Yeah. We've sown some love. And, and we get to see it. It got us out through it, yes. But yeah. we did it together. Yeah. Because of a humbleness and love. And that's what you got to receive. You know, we've been through some things. Yeah. Through love. You know, and, and God did that. Not us. That's the greatness of it all. Man. Okay, we got to pray because we got to get done. Get out of here. Oh, Come class? there, Living Word Bible Church in Mesa, Arizona. Champions class. Look up the champion. Tell them you want. I want to be a champion. Yes. I want to get to that champion thing because I heard, I seen that there's some great things in there. Yes, amen. Come on, we need you. We amen. want you. We want to bless your life. We want to change your life. This is it. This is it right here. This right here. This right here. This is the spot. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> God, we thank you for everything you do. We thank you for your word today, Father God. We thank you that it changed somebody's life somewhere. And that you anointed us, Father God, to give back to your people. And Lord, we ask that you let them have a change today, this week, this year, Father God, that they'll be more thankful, more grateful unto you. And they'll let you handle everything, Father God. Through prayer and supplication, Father, they'll let you reign in their life. The good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Father, we thank you for everything that you have. And we're grateful to be here. Lord, we ask that you let each and every one return next week, and the week after, and the year after, and the year after that, because of their gratefulness to you, that you give them life, and life more abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. You got me, baby.